Hello there, welcome to this session, The Orphan Archetype, Dissolving the Belief in Life You Are On Your Own. You're here because you believe in life, ultimately, you are on your own. Over and over, it's been proven to you, everyone is preoccupied with themselves. You're there for them, for others, through thick and thin. Yet when it comes to you and others, want to be part of your life and be there for you, you find it so hard to accept to the extent you say this, no, it's okay, thanks. I can do it myself. Even if your left leg was hanging off, you'd still be saying, no, it's okay, thanks. I can do it myself. Yet, at the same time, Refusing help from those who want to be part of your life, who want to give. You'll hang around looking for the crumbs of affection or approval. Please, please can I have some affection or approval from you? From those who are reluctant to give it or are too self-involved to notice what you would ever need. Inside, therefore, you feel lonely and emotionally dissatisfied, even if your life is full of people. The orphan archetype you're familiar with. It's the times you've waited and waited and waited to be rescued. The person who takes the time to see you, to know you. The person who would just someday come in and be able to say, yes, I know you, I see you. They showed up, maybe. They were all the things you've been waiting for. Then, ah, they disappeared. They switched into something you weren't expecting. Why does something have all the promise of being great but the, re the re actual reality doesn't happen. The orphan archetype shows up to create the ultimate rescue, the connection of the self beyond self-abandonment into interdependence, the safe, secure world of true self-esteem and value. The journey of the orphan begins with feeling left. You feel exposed, anxious, and you feel life cannot be trusted. Your safest option is to become good, a fantastic pleaser, and you drift into an easier life. You forgo your dreams and you settle for work you don't love, for relationships. Yeah little crumbs don't treat you well you restrict your dreams believing eh, they're not really possible then the push happens the push happens you feel what the orphan sets out to achieve the fullness of the interdependent self the healing of self-abandonment and you realize to do that it's the end of wishing life was different and making it happen. And imagine your life from that perspective, that whatever you wanted to be different could be. For magic to happen in life, it requires stability across all emotion. No one can become a master of consciousness without taking the journey. And that journey is from rejection to acceptance. The orphan shows you that through the soul's expansion, the interdependent self. And now it's time for you to continue that move to mastery within emotion and realize it's not about hiding, it's about the call of adventure. By taking the first step, on the orphan's healing path, which of course 
takes us on to the next subject.